so welcome back to another video my friends and uh, in the previous videos we saw how we can create these buttons which i mean don't work but they are like uh, we created them these circular this circular uh, buttons if i go to the you know uh, dot button and uh, we have the similar styles we have exactly same styles so we're gonna create the buttons down there which we did earlier uh, which I showed you uh, but before doing that let's just copy these styles so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy these styles so let me just copy the whole styles and let's go to controls and let's paste these in okay and in the dot button I'm gonna add a, a prop I'm gonna put a prop so it's gonna be like the prop is gonna be btn style so and I'm gonna call it styles dot button okay and you know we just do that or uh, btn number and that will be equal to styles dot um, number and let's do the same down there in the add button so let's copy that paste that hit save and let's go to dot button now and I'm actually gonna get rid of these styles in the dot button now we don't have styles dot button or styles dot number so in here instead of uh, calling it props right like this I'm gonna call this uh, actually let's just go ahead and rename this to button and this one to number and let's do the same up there so basically what I'm doing here is this is gonna be the button style the number style and we get this props we get these props right so instead of doing styles dot button I mean we're just gonna do styles dot button but we are not going to have any styles I'm gonna call this thing right over here the props I'm gonna call them styles so basically we have the button on the styles pro uh, props and the number right there okay if, if I hit save you're gonna see that uh, that won't change anything and uh, yeah one more thing to note if you are seeing this green color and this uh, or this something like this I mean these colors this is because of VS codes update so VS code has this update where it can show you uh, the colors on the tabs okay so let's do the same thing with the add buttons so I'm gonna get rid of these copied styles that we did that we copied earlier and actually now instead of doing instead of doing this styles I'm going to destructure it so I'm gonna call it button and number because that's what we call it right so let's go you know styles dot button instead of doing styles dot button so let me just find every instance of styles dot button and I'm going to replace that just to button and the same with styles dot number and by the way I'm doing this with control D to select the next instance and that's it hit save and now you will notice that nothing really changes because because that's it okay now we're gonna create the other buttons and this is also pretty uh, you know pretty interesting thing so let's go over to our controls dot JS again and not actually controls.js but here in the controls let's create a new file and I'm gonna call it other buttons.js okay now in this other buttons.js now as you can see because of the screen size it uh, stacked the tabs so that's not looking good but here we go now I think it's better now inside of here let's just generate a react component uh, I can just say RNFCE I guess RNF react native functional component yep that looks fine so basically we include we import react and then view text and then export default function you can use const if you want but this this is fine now inside of uh, the other buttons what we're gonna do is we are going to add the buttons and we're gonna add the style so this is going to be something long okay first off we have a view and inside of the view we're gonna have another view 
so let me just do this for a different view and then instead of the view so let's create our first button so it's going to be touchable opacity and instead of the touchable opacity let's create a view which will have a text okay and this will be the widget button okay now let's go down and let's import the touchable opacity also so touchable opacity and style sheet okay this is this these are the two things we want let's create let's create styles const styles is equal to new or is it new it's style sheet oh my bad it's going to be style sheet dot create and it's going to take in an object of course now uh, first off let's just style the first view that we have so the first view is actually the view containing the first two buttons okay so this this the uh, uh, the topmost view that you see is going to contain one of the buttons the wicket button and the other button which will be uh, reset button okay so we'll have these two views inside of the first view and we're going to wrap it inside of uh, fragments so if you know react fragments okay so we're going to wrap it inside of fragments so first off let's style this first view so i actually called this style other so it's going to be other and other is going to be ha is going to be having flex direction of row that's cool and then we're going to add a margin top of 10 hit save nothing really happens so let's just go on to this view let's add a style and that will be styles dot other and again nothing is going to happen because we are not rendering other buttons here so let's just go ahead and say other buttons and i'm going to click this one so that automatically imports it for us and here you go so now you see this widget right over here and this is a touchable opacity now if i touch it nothing really happens but you can see the text kind of flickering a bit okay now let's go back to other buttons and uh, let's style the other things so it will be now i'm gonna say other btn and the other btn is basically the view that you see here okay so the other btn is going to have a margin horizontal of 10 and a margin vertical of 3 and that's the thing so let's just go ahead and give the style so style is equal to styles dot other btn okay so we got some margin now let's style the wicket button so i'm going to say i'm going to call it wicket button now wicket button is basically going to have first of all the border radius and the border radius will be eight and then we're going to have the padding vertical vertical padding will be 14 and padding horizontal will be 10 and the background color will be you know some uh, a color that i picked up picked up actually it's going to be hash 42a5f um 5 okay so this is a bluish color so now let's uh, go to this touchable opacity and let's give it the style style will be equal to styles dot wicket uh, wicket button hit save now you see this is how it looks like looks better now we cannot say color uh, is equal to white because it's not going to do that we have to trigger the text for that oh actually we should add the styles not to the touchable opacity but to the view inside of it okay so that was something that i did uh, i did this mistake and now let's go ahead and create one more for the button text okay so the text that you see inside of the button this will have simply the color of white so wrap it inside of strings remember it will have the color of white it will have a font weight of bold it will have a text transform of uppercase so it's going to be uppercase it's going to have a font size of 20 it will have finally a text align of center hit save and we get nothing so let's just copy this 
and let's go ahead and give the style is equal to styles dot button text hit save and now you see this is how it looks like it looks a lot better and when i click it, it looks something like this so now it will be now it will be more easier for us to create some more buttons so let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this other btn and if i hit save i will see another wicket button okay now instead of the wicket button we want something else so let's just go ahead and add you know, the reset button although we don't have the class it's uh, although we don't have the styles but it's fine so let's reset and now let's style it uh it is gone because we don't have any styles so let's just go ahead and say reset button and let's add a comma okay now the reset button will have similar styles um almost similar styles uh, but the color only will change so let's actually copy this it will have the similar styles completely similar but the color is going to change so let's add this is going to have the color of actually the reset button will have the blue color and the wicked button will have a different color so let's just remove that <coughs> i did some uh, other mistake so it's going to be e f uh, 530 5350 so a red color for this and blue for reset now this looks perfect and one more thing the last button the last button will be the undo button so basically we're going to create another view so let's create another view and let's give it the same style so it's going to be styles dot other and inside of this view we're gonna have the same as we had in the previous buttons so it's gonna be style is equal to styles dot other btn then we're gonna have a touchable opacity again and inside of the touchable opacity we're gonna have the view and text as we had so let's just add those and we're gonna also have a button okay um uh, sorry we're gonna also have an icon and the icon is what we're going to import from up uh from expo vector icons we installed that earlier so import something from at expo slash vector icons so let's import feather and material community icons okay so we're going to add the material community icons here so it's going to be material community icons and let's just do something like this and inside of here we're going to add the name so the name will be undo the name will be undo dash variant and the size will be 24 and the color will be white so color oops i think i'm working with an object so this color will be white and once we add the once we add this let's go ahead and add the icon for the reset button and for the reset button let's just make it two liner the text so the, for the reset button we're going to use the feather feather icons so feather and inside of feather the name will be refresh c v c w and the size will be 24 again and the color will be white okay hit save nothing really is gonna happen we get uh, we get the reset button uh let's add some space so like this okay here we go so we got some we got some space in between and let's go ahead and style this one now so it's gonna be the undo button so undo button is gonna have the similar styles again so let's copy this but it's just going to have a different color so the color will be let me just copy it okay why why do we do this okay so I copied and pasted it and let's add the you know style so style will be equal to styles dot whoopsie why this happens styles dot undo button 
and hopefully that's it for the text let's add this style button text and that's it save it and you see this uh, you see this undo undo button but let's add some text right so let's just add this okay so you got that now we got these buttons okay you see we got the the number buttons we got the buttons down there for wicket reset and undo so that's cool uh, i think we are done with the overall design and in the next video we will create we'll add font our custom font to it so the font that we are using in the actual app i hope this video helped you please like it share it to others who want it and finally thanks for watching